Now, basically, today's lesson is just introduction to bivariate data. I've given you a list of all the vocabulary you need to know. All right? Don't need your laptop now. You can close your laptop now. And the next assessment you're going to have, which is in semester two, I know it's still early days, it's all about this bivariate data analysis. Uh, it's an investigation, so there's no preparation, nothing. Uh, we'll just go through. You need to be able to follow the lessons step by step, all right? Is it next term or? Semester? Next term. Oh. Next term or semester two, term two. All right? Now, so by the end of the lesson, what we need to start to think about is what is a statistical investigation process? Then we'll talk about the various data type. And then finally, you must be able to differentiate between the explanatory and respond variable. All right? Now, statistical investigation process, they've been through over and over, over and over, okay? In, uh, in year 9, year 10, and year 11. So let's start to think about the situation now, more practical. Is there a link between the higher consumption of particular food stuff and the death rates due to heart diseases? Could be deep fried food, could be whatever, we don't know yet. But this is a situation, just one situation. Second situation, is there a link between the number of hours spent on social media and the grades of the student? That is highly relevant to everyone, I would say. And situation three, is there a link between the type of vaccine and how sick a person is from COVID? All right. Uh, that is also another interesting one. I have, I would like to do a bit more research on that, but have got a lot of time. Now, so all this situation, you can see that there are two things that we are involved with. One is consumption of food stuff, and the other one is death rate. Situation two: number of hours spent on social media, and then the grades of the student. Situation three: one is the types of vaccine and how sick a person is. All right, two things that we are going to compare. Therefore, the word bivariate data is there. We are comparing two things. One and the other one. One is, uh, if you look at it from science term, one is dependent variable, the other one is independent variable. All right, that will lead to the explanatory and response variable in a few minutes. Now, statistical investigation process, uh, you've got to think about clarifying the problem. So, for example, the situation that we have. Is there a link between the number of hours spent on social media and the grades of students? Situation two. Now, how are we going to clarify the uh, information and formulate one or more questions? All right. Think about how you could survey your fellow students to get that answer. All right. Think about how to implement a plan to collect or obtain appropriate data. That's so important. Select an appropriate graphical or numerical techniques to analyze the data. This is the bit that we're going to concentrate on, uh, on bivariate data analysis, especially the regression analysis. And then you must be able to interpret the results and relate the interpretation to, interpretation to the original question, communicating findings in a systematic and concise manner. Now, in the exam, you must, you must always answer the questions in context, all right? With this, you have to, there'll be a question asked, and then you will have to answer your conclusion, your findings, in terms of the context of the question. Remember that it's so important, because our uh, apps, context is the most important thing. All right, so the statistical investigation process, we'll think about this is what you're gonna be uh, test on for the investigation, all right? Now, so if you need to, if Shenton College is planning to build a new, new bicycle enclosure, that is a problem. But then, from there, we need to think about the problem such as where is the site going to be? Where are we going to locate the new uh, bicycle enclosure if Shenton College is planning to do that? Uh, do we have enough money? Do, we, uh, do you think we have enough spot to park bicycle or do we need more, those are the sort of things. So collecting data, we'll be looking at surveying students, 
maybe middle school here, and uh, I'm in the hub. Gabriel, close your laptop, please. And think about where is a suitable place for the bicycle. How big we, a bicycle enclosure? Do we perhaps need to build one up there, one down here? All right, think about how we collect data and how we analyze that data. So, and then interpret and then present. All right, those are the things that you need to think about when you come up with the problem. Now, we go back to the situation one where consumption of the food stuff, okay, note the units, kilograms per person per year, and death due to heart disease per year per 100,000 population. Right, here, you've got to think about when you're answering question, if you do an analysis, all right? If you're asked to answer the question, make sure that you interpret these sort of things, like per year, per 100,000. So you can't say the answer is uh, 150. You cannot just say 150 that is 150,000 per population, all right? That is important. Like consumption, if the answer is 58, it's 58 kilograms. All right, that sort of things. So make sure that you know how to answer the question. Speed context. So we've got two variables now. One is consumption of food stuff. The other one is deaths due to heart diseases. So two sets of data, therefore it's called bivariate data. So the study of bivariate data is concerned with investigating whether there is some relationship or association between two variables. The variables in bivariate data can be both categorical or both numerical or combination of the two. All right? So we are going to see if there's any relationship. For example, I would say that the number of hours spent on social media and the grades, there will be lots of relationship. All right, that's my gut feeling. Think about how you could display the data, how you could analyze the data. All right? The word association is important. There will be a lot of situations that they will ask you, what do you think about the situation? Uh, the association uh, between the two variables. All right? There will be, definitely. All right, can I move on? Or I'll give you a couple of minutes if you have to write it down. If not, it will be in the uh, lesson slides anyway when I upload it. Remember categorical and numerical data. Yeah? Categorical is made of words, numerical is made of numbers. So categorical could be something like eye color, gender, blood type, coffee cup size, or whatever. And categorical could be nominal or ordinal. Nominal, there's no natural sense or order or category, or to the categories. For example, eye color could be green, could be blue. Uh, blood type, O, O plus, A, A plus, that sort of thing. Ordinal could have a clear order or hierarchy, such as a coffee cup size, small, I'll get a regular coffee, or large coffee, or small, and places in the race, like for example, one, two, three, first, first second, or third place, or even something like uh, your uh, rating in movies, uh, as into um, five star, four stars, three stars, those are categorical. Numerical, you've got discrete and continuous. So discrete, that's finite option, usually uh, compound by counting, and it's counting numbers of integers, that's discrete. Uh, continuous is of things like uh, mass, things like height, things like time, so it's continuous, all right? That you can always take on the decimal places, all right? Uh, now, no, continuous data sometimes can be, uh, discretized. That is considered to be discrete if the value are intentionally rounded. For example, height to the nearest centimeter or uh, mass to the nearest kilometers. All right. Now again, answering question. When you answer question in the exam, there, will, there might be uh, instruction asking you to give the height to the nearest centimeter or give the height to the me nearest meters. You must always do that. All right. 
always read the question carefully. Now, so look at those two, variable one and variable two. Variable one is higher consumption of a particular food. Vari variable two is death rate due to heart disease. Where there exists between two, uh, a relationship between two variable, one is the explanatory variable, the other is the response variable. All right, now, how you differentiate between explanatory and response variable, think this way. The response variables depends on the explanatory variable. All right, so the death rate due to heart disease is dependent on the high consumption of a particular type of food. All right, so what, this is, uh, this is the what, this is why. Why it's cause, it's depend on that, right? So here, think about the response variable. Um, you may be asked to identify. Generally, if you are, I have seen a couple of questions which ask you to identify between the uh, uh, response and explanatory explanatory variable think about that so this is uh, this is in this is dependent of that so therefore the higher consumption of food is independent on dependent variable which one this depends on that this is independent this dependent all right variable two depends on that so when you're doing uh, graph you could be plotting y and x. The higher consumption of a particular food would be the x, the death rate would be the y. All right? Now, a response variable is the one that responds to a change. It's also known as a dependent or the predicted variable. Whereas the explanatory variable is any factor that can influence or explain the response variable. It is also known as independent or predictive variable. So I've seen those two. I haven't really seen these two yet. All right, but I will just let you know so that you know the uh, you, you know dependent and predicted is. Um, a response variable. You have seen predicted variable, but I haven't seen a predictor yet. So explanatory variable is any factor that can influence or explain the response variable. So it is in independent. So I give you time to write this down because it's uh, quite important for you to know that. I'll move on to the next one. Oops. All right. So, what I've written down at the bottom is the death rates due to heart disease can be predicted by the higher consumption of a particular type of food. All right. Now, let's look at the example. So, can you those three questions differentiate between the explanatory and the response variable? So which one for the first one? Can the choice of mode of transport to work be related to the gender of the worker? Which one is the dependent or the explanatory variable? Which one is the response? Yep. Good. Thank you. What about the next one? Predict the type of movie be related to the age. Which one is the uh, explanatory? Age. Yep. And the response is? Okay. And what about the last one? High blood pressure, increase the risk of heart attack. Which one is explanatory? High blood pressure. And that's the response. All right. So today's lesson is sort of fairly straightforward. You need to know how to uh, distinguish between those two. Now, 
The last slide is about what type of display. So we will consider types of display to use when both oops, variables are categorical or both variables are numerical. When both variables are categorical, we display the data using two-way tables, row and column percentages, or segmented column graphs. All right, 100% stack column graph. I will go through that next term. We are going to concentrate on numerical first. So tomorrow, we're going to start on scatter graph or scatter plot. You must know how to plot. Please bring your uh, class pad as well. I'll show you how to do some plotting on class pad. From there, we'll be looking at, um, when we do the scatter plot, we'll be looking at the strength of the relationship and the strength of association. And then we'll look at how to see a linear regression line. Linear regression line is very important. I've used it quite a lot when I, um, when I was doing my engineering work. All right, I'm going to stop here. And you've got some work that you need to complete from club. 